today we'll look at how to add a fastener to the NX Join Part Library. We need to edit six files in three locations to do that. Let's first start by looking at NX Join. Here if you don't have the Join toolbar on, you can turn it on by right clicking in the toolbar area. And we'll go to Fasteners in NX Join. And under the spec here we can clear or edit the fastener. And you can see the various fasteners that are available. Here we have a dash 10 and dash 11, which is for both protruding and flush fasteners. And you can see we have a dash 6 and dash 8 for the HL10V. And for the HL11V, we have a dash 6, dash 8, and dash 12. I added a dash 12 recently. What we'll do in this example is add a dash 10. To begin, we need to have a part family part for our geometry. In this case, it's an HL11, and it has a part family spreadsheet in it. So here you can see the details of the part family, and it spans from a dash 5, which is not included in NX join all the way down to a dash 12. So here let's go ahead and edit the part family in Excel. And here you can see the dash 5. You can scroll down through dash 6, dash 8, dash 10, which is what we'll add, and dash 12. So since the dash 10 already exists we don't have to do anything here with the part family. But we also may have to do something with the hardware XLS spreadsheet. And you can see this looks fairly similar to the part family spreadsheet with one difference in that it has some columns that help it understand how to map the diameter, head diameter, min stack up to the part family. So here you can see the diameter in the hardware XLS maps to diameter in the part family. So here you can see the diameter expression and its column of values. Next we have the head diameter which maps to head underscore DIA underscore A and we can find that column in the part family spreadsheet as well. And so on with the min stack up and max stack up. You can see where all of those map. All right, but since that already exists for our dash 10, there's nothing to edit here as well. So we'll go ahead and close those files. The next file we need to check is the XHS file. And here you can see we have HL11V-6, 8, and 12. We need to create a dash 10. So what we'll do is we'll copy the dash 8 over to a temporary location where we have write access. And I'll edit that with my favorite text editor. And we need to change all of the dash 8 dashes to dash 10 dashes. So we'll use replace to do that. So that gets most of them. There's still one here on the name at the top. We'll change that manually. And there's also a diameter for our shank that we need to change. Update that for the dash 10. One other thing I'd like to discuss as well is the material. The material name has to match exactly the name that's been applied to the geometry. In this case, it's titanium underscore TI-6AL 
4v. And we'll take a look at that in just a moment. First we'll go ahead and save our dash 8 as a dash 10. And we want to make sure we turn off save as a text file otherwise that will add a .txt extension that we don't want. Let's go ahead and get rid of that. And then we can copy that back to the correct location in the NXJoin directory. All right, let's uh, take a look at our material properties in our part family part for the HL11. And here you can see that titanium underscore ti dash 6al dash 4v is applied to our geometry for our part family fastener. For simulation purposes, you want to make sure that you've got a modulus and Poisson's ratio at a minimum and also density if you're going to be doing any modal uh, type analyses. All right, next we'll edit the hardware.xml. I recommend first creating a backup. I already had a backup, but let's create another backup. And then we'll go ahead and copy that backup over to our temporary location. Where we have write access. We'll edit the file. And this one is set up in paragraphs of various fasteners. So you can see there's a paragraph of information that starts with hardware and has the hardware name and other parameters. So let's scroll down to where we have our HL11V-8. Here we're in the HL10V. Let's keep going down to HL11V. Find our dash 8s. And we want to use all of the dash 8s as a template to create our dash 10s. So here I'll scroll down to the bottom of my dash 8s and start selecting. Go ahead and select all the way up to the top of our dash 8s. But here I started with a hardware line and I'm ending with a hardware line as well. It's going to give us one too many. I'll paste that into a new tab where we can now go into our replace command, search for our dash 8 dash and replace it with dash 10 dash. That will get all of our names. But we also have a head diameter and diameter that needs to get updated as well. So let's go back into replace, search for all of our head diameters, and we want to replace that with the head diameter for the dash 10 as shown in our part family spreadsheet that we had up earlier. All right, we also want to do the same for the shank diameter. Change that 0.25 to a 0.325, sorry, 0.3125. All right, and that looks good. So let's go ahead and copy that. And we have to use the edit pull down to be able to copy here.
and we'll go ahead and paste that at the bottom of our dash 8s just above our dash 12s. Alright, but if we do that we're going to get two hardware lines. So let's go ahead and scroll back up and get rid of that extra hardware line because we'll get an error if that's in there twice. All right, and then we're ready to save that as our hardware XML. Then we'll copy that into the correct location in the NX join directory. And here we'll overwrite the original. But we still have that copy in case we need it. All right, the next two files are in the specifications directory. We'll use the dash 8 as a template, copy those to a location where we have write access, and edit those two files. And in the same way, we'll use the replace command, searching for dash 8 dash, and replace it with dash 10 dash. Get the name at the top, and the shank diameter. All right, the rest of it looks good. Save that as our dash 10. Next, we'll edit the dash 8 complete XML. Do the same replace commands file looks similar but it has some extra lines at the bottom for associated hardware. Let's get the diameter as well. Make that change from 0.25 to 0.3125. And then if you want to specify uh, not a dash 8, I believe that's a washer, uh, can change that to a dash 10 and whatever its whole diameter is, make those changes. Save that as our dash 10. And then move those two files into the correct location. Alright, that should do it. Let's go ahead and restart NX and test to see if the fasteners are visible when we go into NX join. So here we'll create a new part file. Go into NX join and create a fastener. Let's edit the fasteners. And here you can see we have our HL11V 10s in addition to the 8s and the 12s. 
And that's how to add a fastener to the NX join library.